<laughs> hey, what's up, YouTube? So today we're trying something, uh, something that one of you guys suggested. This was the a variation on the slit cup, and so um, I titled it the last video "Dirty Slit Cup." That sounds really naughty, <laughs> and so let's just call it a slit cup for now. <laughs> so what we're doing today is one of your guys' suggestions. It was um, cutting s some holes in the bottom edge here, and then once we flip it, we rip the, the tape off, and the, uh, the paint will vent out on the bottom edge. And so uh, I've cut three holes, and I'm going to put it in the bottom corner. And we'll see how it pushes out through, and um, we'll see what kind of designs it makes. It should be interesting. And um, let's switch over to the art cam. Switch right now. All right, so uh, this one is a commission. Sorry, I just woke up. I had to get a video done. I had planned on doing it last night, but my wife had people over. So um, it's not my wife's fault. I just decided I wanted to go to bed. Um, so we've got all different shades of blues, um, Payne's gray, and white. And so this is... Um, I don't know if I said this just now. Um, this is a commission for a uh, lady that was over last night. She said she would love to have one that's all blues. And so that's what we're going to do. So we got a cup of white. And I know I've over-prepared paint, but I'm not sure how this gravity-fed thing is going to work out. So, um, okay. Just had to make sure we're down to consistency. So these blues are all fairly similar. This is uh, a half tone of phalo blue. This is ultramarine blue. And then this is metallic blue. And um, yeah, let's see how it turns out. Ooh, let's do, let's do Payne's gray and phalo blue last. Hey, get out of the way. So, um, somebody pointed out that um, that depending on where you put the paint is going to completely affect the way your final thing comes out. And that's a great observation because right now I'm pouring it straight down the middle because what I want is the uh, all these paints to mingle. And this isn't by chance, it's by design that I'm doing this one. Um, but it brought up a good point. I think if we spent a little bit more time trying to pay attention to where our um, our paint was going, it might, we might just find something cool. Oh, I know you could pay attention to specific gravity, but I'm talking about more like where in your cup you pour it. And from the heights that you do it. I'm not too worried about being perfect. Wow. Chunk O White. I'm doing this mostly so my stuff can um, move quicker. The paint can move out of the cup quicker. The only... I have a couple thoughts on this. I'm not sure how fast it'll come out of those. Because there's three slits in that cup right there. And... Um, Yeah, there's three, three slits in the cup, and um, just not entirely sure how fast it's going to move out of there. So, we're covering it with white so that it, uh, it feels free to move a little bit faster than it normally would. So now that we've got that covered, I'm going to take this and I'm going to stir it through. Uh, uh, uh. Oops. All right, so I gotta make sure I put the vents. Isn't that awesome? Look at that! I love how it'll start selling up in the cup too. Oh man, that's so cool. All right, so I gotta put it in this corner. And... 
Okay, so I see what I did there. Uh, didn't flip it fast enough. But pushing it over to the edge. And making sure our vents are pointed at the best possible place. And... Oh, you know, it might help if I created a hole on top so it has somewhere to vent to. I think this is the cleanest I've ever kept my hands. This is amazing. Oh, it's not over yet, though. Um, actually, that's not going to work. So while that's flowing out, slit. Ah, fine. Oh. Well, that's a fun thing. Didn't expect that. And I kind of slid that backwards on purpose because I didn't want, um, I didn't want it just to kind of completely break what we're we've been doing here. Well, I did it again. I poured off a lot of our ring things. I'm in, ending up pouring off a ton of paint. Ah. Okay, I have to hit it with a torch because uh, the way I did that squeeze thing, it created a whole bunch of bubbles in it. So, I'm going to get out my torch. And we're going to ghetto start this bad boy. And it's kind of been working lately. Oh, I'm happy, man. decided that I don't super like this type of painting selling up like a traditional acrylic pouring because one of the coolest things about this type of pouring is that um, you have a lot of clean lines I mean it doesn't have to be perfectly clean and and it's not as you can clearly see but um, I like that these uh, I don't know, it's it's more, it feels more intentional. Okay. Oh, did I see another air bubble? I like getting down so I'm eye level to it, just right above the painting and then looking across. And then if you see bumps or little, little bubbles there, I'm starting to think I might, you know what? I think it would be kind of fun to do one of those from each corner with these little cups. Wait, let me get a clean little cup. So these are like maybe in two ounces. I don't know how big they are, but it might be fun to do one of these on each corner with like a, a different color. I don't know, we'll I'll figure it out, but um, yeah, that is fun. Here, let me see. All right, so uh, yeah, that's what we got for today. Thank you so much for watching. 
we have new videos coming out every Thursday and Monday, Monday and Thursday at 11 o'clock Eastern time. So thank you guys for, uh, for watching 12 o'clock Eastern time, right? 12. Yeah. 11. Yeah. 12 o'clock, 11, 11 o'clock Eastern. Um, yeah. So this is kind of a fun experiment. I mean, I think I'm going to keep working on, on this idea because I think that there's a lot of promise, a lot of things that we can do in this. And, um, Thanks for watching and having fun with me, guys. Um, I really appreciate you. Would you do me a favor? Would you like this video? And um, if you think it's good enough for other people to see, would you mind sharing it? I'd love to, for people to be able to, to, um, to get to see this, and I'd love the channel to grow. So if you would help me with that, I would really appreciate it. All right, you guys are the best. Love you all. Solid. Oh, yeah, my sponsors. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so for last month, Stephanie B and Karen bought at Octopunks. You guys are the best. Um, yeah, solid guys. <laughs> All right, I'll see you Monday at 12 Eastern, 12 noon Eastern time. All right, guys, peace out.